Hey guys and welcome back. Time is flying by and it's almost Christmas already. In today's video, I'm making delicious but budget-friendly food gifts that can be made for between about $2.50 and $5 each. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love receiving these kind of gifts. First of all, they are delicious, and second, it makes me feel good to know that someone spent time making something for me. Whether or not you are looking to make food gifts or not, I have some delicious recipes for you in today's video. To start off with, I'm going to see if I can pick up some inexpensive jars for some of the items that I'm going to be making. And I'm starting out here at Ross. Okay, these are $3 and $4. I'm going to take these home with me. I do love the shape. They're a beautiful canister. And they also had these... Uh, oil and vinegar bottles which I loved because the one on the right had the top on there uh, I know that I did show you also that Dollar Tree had some so that's great if you want to do you know like an oil and vinegar I'm actually not doing that this year so that's going to stay here and I'm also going to head over to the 99 cent store to see if they have any inexpensive jars I'm looking for a little bit cheaper of a jar uh, than three four or four dollars I'm hoping to get it for you know like a buck maybe um maybe a little bit more. So I'll see what they've got in here. Some of you have said that I need to be spending more time at the 99 cent store. It's not my first time in a 99 cent store, but it is my first time here at the one in Lake Forest. And uh, the last time I was in a 99 cent store, everything in the store was 99 cents. So this was kind of a shocker because I kept finding uh, items that were quite expensive and so it's kind of hard to get over that mentally when you're expecting everything to be 99 cents but after you get past that that little bit then I think um, definitely with a good eye you can find some good finds here and I was just kind of perusing through everything because I wanted to see uh, you know what kind of deals they had and I wanted to show this uh, festive popcorn they had for $4.99 you could obviously purchased that for a gift. I'm actually going to be making my own popcorn. Uh, I won't be filming it because I've already made a video on that, but popcorn makes an in super inexpensive and delicious uh, gift that everybody loves. I'm definitely here for the jars and they do have some for $1.99. They had quite a bit of variety, but I'm looking for something a little bit plainer and something that the person that I give the gift to will want to reuse it and something maybe like this which is not bad and at two dollars it's a little bit more than I wanted to spend but that's definitely the size of jar that I'm looking for and these actually with the little flowers on them are perfect so I think I'm going to pick up a couple of these. I spotted these Jiffy Cornbreads for 99 cents and those are normally 49 cents at my Walmart and I believe Aldi has those as well. So you definitely have to pick between all of the items but I did see something else here. The um, Bullion which I thought was a really great deal. They had these uh, small ones for 99 cents and I believe they had a couple of different varieties and I thought that was really great. So a few of my viewers told me that 99 cent store is a great place to find inexpensive produce and they were not wrong. I did pick up a, a bag of Brussels sprouts. They had uh, avocados on a great sale and I also picked up a couple of fresh beets. They had these hibiscus leaves and I don't know why but this really intrigued me. I stood here for a while looking at these and wondering if this tea was any good. I haven't actually tried hibiscus tea before, but this would make some good Christmas gifts. Actually, you could come up with some creative ideas if this is any good. I'm not sure. If anybody's tried it, let me know. And I actually think I will pick up a bag next time I'm there if I see any. Just, just to satisfy my curiosity. Okay, I dropped into Home Goods to check out their selection of containers and I spotted these ramen bowls. They are absolutely beautiful and only $6.99. So I thought these make a super great gift for anyone that you know that likes ramen. I know that in my family we absolutely love ramen and we all have our own ramen bowls. So that is, that's a nice gift. And then I was looking on their clearance rack to see 
if they had any bottles or any other kind of food containers that might work for my Christmas gifts. And I didn't really spot anything here, although I did find this little bowl and this bowl is actually going home with me because I think it is adorable and the price is right. So I'm definitely getting that. I also spotted these little food packages from Italy and it has a truffle risotto and I think a truffle pesto. And so I thought to myself, this would be a super fun thing to do with a family on New Year's Eve, just to be something special and something, you know, out of the ordinary. It's $12.99 and I absolutely love truffles. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and try it. And I've been talking to another viewer about trying to make risotto. I know risotto is kind of tough to make and so it's odd that it's just one of those dishes I haven't done yet but I think I'm going to go ahead and go for it and I think that would make a super festive and special New Year's Eve but I also do want to make some other appetizers and stuff along with it but anyhow um, they also had this one but when I looked at the back of this one it said it was artificial flavored whereas the back of the other one it said didn't didn't have the artificial so I decided to go with the other one I'm not sure if any of them are any good or not but it's fun to try something new and my family loves this sort of thing so we always bond over food and so this will be uh this will make for a nice evening we're definitely in a period of time where flavored salts are the fad right now and I thought this little collection was cute but it was $12.99 which was a little bit high for a food gift but I thought it was cute nonetheless. I don't know about you guys but when I go into stores like this they inspire me and I saw this container here that all I could picture was this at my New Year's Eve party with drinks in there with ice and building a little theme all around this one boat. I just got so excited looking at that and I really did want to bring that home with me, but I didn't. I left it there. They had a nice variety of jars at Home Goods, depending on what kind of gift you're making. Uh, they had this one that was chalkboard for $3.99. I honestly am not a huge fan of chalkboard because I like things to be nice and neat and I find when you write on the chalkboard with the chalk it just doesn't look that great so I'm definitely not going to get it but it's definitely a good place to go for jars if you're looking and if that's in your price point. For me I would have liked to spend a little bit less than four dollars and I was able to pick up some at Dollar Tree and Ross and 99 cent store so I think I'm set for uh, for jars. Okay, so I was on the way to the Christmas section to look for the gift tags and I spotted these cute little adorable hanging chairs and they're for pets, of course. And I just thought to myself, how cute is that? And I couldn't believe we had an entire two aisles just for pet luxury items. I was like, wow, that's crazy. But anyway, I am that person that would buy that for my dog. But um, here they had these amazing little gift tags that were super cute but they were kind of expensive you know three dollars for three that's like a dollar each um i was hoping for something a little bit less expensive and i spotted these these are actually adorable and there were quite a few in here but i still thought to myself i hadn't been to dollar tree yet and at six dollars that's a lot I like to check out their food gifts section to see if I can get any ideas that I can use for myself, but they didn't really have anything that was too too interesting this year, other than some really cute shaped jars that I liked. Okay, I had to laugh when I saw these because these exact same ones that are $9.99 are $0.99 cents at the Dollar Tree, which I have one at home waiting for a craft project. Now, I wanted to show you guys these Advent cheese calendars because I got them at Trader Joe's and it's too late for you to get them this year, but you definitely should get them next year if you at all like cheese because I got this for my son. My older son and I have been sharing this and every day we open our little box and we pull out the new cheese and then we, we read about the cheese and then we look it up um, and see the history behind it. And so we're learning a little bit more about cheese. And 
cheese is super expensive, so it's not like somebody can go out there and really get educated on all the different kinds of cheeses without spending a ton of money. So I think it's a great idea. And if you want to pick some up next year, you can get them and try to get them um, early November. I am super excited to start with my first recipe, and that is for salsa. I absolutely love this recipe. I've been making it for quite a few years, and so I am happy to make it for food gifts. It is very popular, and I love eating it myself, so I'm definitely going to make a big batch and have enough left over for myself for a while. And uh, these are all the ingredients. I've got a little bit of salt, sugar, garlic. I'm going to take out most of the insides of this pepper just because I think it's really good when you're giving gifts to make sure that it's somewhat mild, especially if you're not sure if the person likes heat or not. As always, I will put the recipe for this in the description. Just scroll to the bottom and you will find the recipes. I did use one clove of garlic. It's just up to you how much garlic you like. I found that one clove is, is perfect, but if you want a little less, you can start out with a half. And I know that I have a few viewers out there that actually doesn't like garlic at all. So obviously, just go ahead and leave that out. I, I might add a little bit of celery salt in there in place of that, but I would be careful uh, to leave out the other salt, obviously, if you're gonna add salt, celery salt. But I'll, I'll put the recipe below. You're gonna use a juice of half a lime, and I'm gonna be using my uh, Ninja to, to blend all of this up, just because it happens to be on the counter. I tend to not wanna get, dig out uh, my processor and all of that, uh, and the Ninja just worked perfectly for this actually, but it wasn't quite large enough. So I had to go ahead and do it in several batches, which is fine. And at the last minute, I decided not to put the entire jalapeno in there either. Uh, I thought it's better to add that in later if I taste it and feel like it can use some more, but obviously you can't take it out. It's better to, to hold off. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by putting these ingredients in here and then pulse them together. So I love a pico de gallo, which uh, if you don't know, that's the chunky tomatoes with the cilantro and onions and jalapenos. But I also like a nice smooth salsa and this satisfies that in that respect but you can always make it as chunky as you want to make it just obviously don't blend it as much or if you want to blend like a third of it and then add the chunky to it uh, then you're going to get more of you know a moderate chunk to it so but it's all up to whatever you want I actually find that when it's when it's pulsed quite a bit and it's smooth it just coats the entire chip really nicely. So um, you'll see what I mean here at the end when I take a dip. But I find that a good salsa recipe is something that you can build on. Like if you want to change something, maybe you want to add a little bit more cumin or you want to add more jalapeno or, you know, maybe you want to add some fresh tomatoes in there. Um, that's great. But I do also love the fact that this recipe uses canned tomatoes because it's just so much easier to have them on hand. I picked these queso chips up while I was at 99 cent store. And honestly, I wish it was more of a plain chip, but look look how perfectly this salsa coats the chip. I mean, it just doesn't get any more perfect than that. When I spotted these jars at 99 cent store, I was so excited because I just knew that my salsa was gonna look so beautiful in these jars.
Next up, I'm making banana as well as blueberry lemon zest bread. I'm not including footage of making the banana bread because I've already made that on my channel. I'll put a link to the video in the description, but it's super easy to make as long as you have three very ripe bananas, you most likely already have the ingredients in your house. The banana will probably cost you around 60 to 70 cents and the fractional cost of the remaining ingredients like flour, sugar, and an egg puts the total for this loaf at about $1.50. So this is definitely one of the least expensive food gifts you can make especially if you leave out the nuts and I kind of recommend that anyway because some people don't like nuts in their breads this is the first loaf of banana bread and it turned out perfectly and next we're on to making the blueberry lemon zest bread I absolutely love the sweet bread recipe because it always turns out perfectly and it's nice because you can add different kinds of berries and or whatever you have on hand in this case I just purchased these blueberries at the store for myself and so when I was making the banana bread I thought I might as well make a blueberry lemon one to add with the banana bread but if you had something like huckleberries or even and raspberries those would be delicious in this as well I especially love the idea of using wild berries that are regional to the area that you live in and if you wanted to you could make like three different kinds of breads and then slice them up and put them in one of those really cute little holiday cookie boxes that you can purchase uh, I think they also have little bread boxes and serve those as a gift or you could just you know make the mini loaves and then gift those out as well. I do think those are, are very cute. They have those uh, little loaf pans pretty much at all the stores now. I know uh, Ross had them and Home Goods, um, probably most places I think, um, but they're really cute in terms of gift giving. And in this case, I'm making a full loaf pan. So I did add flour to my pan to make sure that nothing sticks. I just kind of eyeballed it in terms of how many blueberries I wanted. And those blueberries were exceptionally crisp and sweet. So I didn't want to use too many because I really love eating them raw. And I feel like this had just the right amount at just over a half a cup of blueberries. Gourmet popcorns are both delicious and inexpensive to make. This year, I'll be gifting a mixture of caramel and cheddar popcorn in these beautiful glass canisters. This combination provides both a sweet and salty note that hits just the right balance. I've made caramel popcorn before and I'll link that video in the description below. It's so much fun to make and your house will smell amazing and who doesn't love popcorn? For the cheddar popcorn, I went the easy route and purchased the big cheese at Walmart and mixed it in with my homemade caramel corn. They had a six pack for just over three bucks so that worked for me. This is another one of those gifts that costs just a few bucks to make. I spotted this dark drizzled kettle corn at Aldi's when I was there last time. I believe it was $1.99 and I thought, oh, this would be perfect as well. If someone wanted to make food gifts but not necessarily making the popcorn themselves. However, you could make a chocolate drizzled popcorn yourself fairly easily just getting a milk chocolate bar, melting it, and drizzling over the popcorn. However, I will say this was absolutely delicious and I would definitely purchase this again. I thought it looked really beautiful beautiful in the jar and it's a very inexpensive gift. I purchased these jars at Dollar Tree so if you wanted to purchase two of the bags of popcorn they would fill three of the jars. Then the total cost with gift tags would be around $2.60 each and I think that's really good. These food gifts are great too if you have somebody uh, that you purchase maybe a smaller gift than you wanted to and you wanted to just add to it. These make great add-on gifts. There are also times where a larger gift is not appropriate. For example, if it's a work colleague, this is a thoughtful gift and perfect for the occasion. 
And now I'm making one of my favorite food gifts because it's such a unique gift and it's absolutely delicious and super inexpensive to make. I'm just using red onions, salt, sugar, and vinegar, and I'll go ahead and put that recipe in the description below. But you basically just dissolve all of the ingredients into the water, let it cool, and then pour into a jar. Let that sit overnight to develop the beautiful red color, and then you'll be good to go. And in case you're wondering, I did pick up these little homemade uh, gift tags at Walmart and I thought those were really great considering the gifts we're giving. They also have these little mini ornaments here and at the Dollar Tree and I like to use these sometimes with my gift tags just to spruce up the gift a bit, which I did end up using on my homemade salsa and I thought it turned out really cute. And here was another gift idea that I really loved. My son loves peanut brittle and they had some at Dollar Tree. They were a dollar each, obviously, so I picked up four. And they also had these little cookie boxes. They were two for a dollar, so I grabbed those. I've had this before. It's very, very good. You can also make this at home. It's super easy to make and relatively inexpensive. The biggest cost, of course, is the peanuts, but it's, again, it's easy to make. It's a great food gift and people love to get it. So um, I thought that was a great option if you don't want to cook and you know someone who loves peanut brittle. I also purchased this peppermint bark at Dollar Tree along with this little iridescent jar and I thought that these made really great gifts as well because I myself love peppermint bark and this was really good. I like to wrap it up with a tissue paper that I also got at Dollar Tree along with the tags that I got there as well and I thought that just turned out really cute. There were a few other gifts that make great add-ons to the food gifts that I wanted to show you. These were at Trader Joe's. It was an evergreen scented candle along with some espresso beans, which were inexpensive, but again, a nice compliment. And also, I ended up purchasing this salt box for myself recently, and I thought, it would make a great gift for anybody that has a foodie in their life. And if you wanted to step it up a bit, you could even have it engraved. That would be super special. And also, if you remember, if you watch my channel, you saw when I purchased these flavored salts at Ikea. They have been exceptional and they have been flying off the shelves at Ikea. I know you can't get them online, but I think they're still in the stores. And at $6.99, they make a great gift. And when I spotted this at Trader Joe's, I thought at $9.99, this also made a great gift for the person in your life that you don't necessarily know what to get. Uh, but if they like uh, eating and they enjoy cooking, this would make a nice gift. And finally, one of the last gifts that I like to add on with food gifts are these candles. And they had the single wick candles for $8 at Bath & Body Works in a variety of scents. And I always like to get something good smelling that uh, smells like something cooking. And then uh, they also have the three wick candles for $10 and some change this year. And I wanted to get this stress relief eucalyptus candle for someone. So I picked that up. But I think that they make really great add-on gifts for someone that you wanted to maybe give a little bit more than just the food gifts to. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my video and most of all, I hope you enjoy these recipes for yourself. If you guys have any special foodie gifts that you like to give with homemade gifts, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I will feature those in next year's video. If you haven't done so already, I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I'm a frugal foodie and I do believe in eating well on a budget. Have a very Merry Christmas everyone and I will see you next week. Week.